from what the situation is at your work, but <laughs> there's bad engineers in every profession. Absolutely nothing mentioned about the guy who designed it, the people who built it. Oh no, 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 that would have been like. Well, it's got to be the management that's that's responsible oh, yes. for all the good things. Yes. Just ask the managers. Employees are there to take the damage when bad things happen. So, and then, I'm pretty sure I got in here. For some reason, you know, I had trouble finding one piece of paper amongst many. I haven't heard that before. Yeah, that it. It, it certainly does with me. And it always seems to be that I'll find it Just when I'm not looking for it. That's the secret yeah, thing. Started. Oh, good morning. Looks like we might have started. Licks is the bane of the uh, electronics of it. Oh, yeah. Right. See, this is the six phases of a project. Oh. Phase one enthusiasm. Phase two, disillusionment. <laughs> Phase three, panic. Phase four, search for the guilty. Phase five, punishment of the innocent. And phase six, praise and honors for the non-participants. So, why is this? I don't think you'll get to phase six. From what you've said, I don't think your place gets to phase six all that often. No, well, I just did recently. Yes, but I said all that often. Somebody else having screen. trouble with my phone in the car. Mm -hmm. Found out what it was. Mm -hmm. Evidently, Pocket li likes to collect up in the connector. <laughs> yes, and yes. so you put the cable in, which just compacts it in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. I've known about that for quite a while. Had I thought of it, I might have realized it, but <laughs> it's a phone. I put it in my pocket. Surprise. Yeah. And it'll charge just fine because it doesn't have to have a good data connection to charge. Mm -hmm. Well, I even had my words so pat, it's good charge. And I'm like, I'm thinking it's broke. So I go to the Apple store and they're like, boy, you got a lot of lint in here. Jeez. I dug it all out and it's like, hmm, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm remembering that. <clears throat> they dug it out of my phone today. And now the phone works much better with the car. Good. Well, my Mustang works a lot better when the radiator isn't plugged. But you can no longer say that just because it's unplugged the computer doesn't work because most of them now have big enough batteries to have for hours with that. Uh, my Mustang's in 1966. There is I, no computer. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Or rather, I had assumed that from the description. Uh, one of those vehicles that an EMP would not affect at all. Correct. Mm -hmm. If and it was running at the time, you might short out the alternator. No. 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 Nah. no. This thing still has points. <laughs> this thing doesn't need an electronic ignition. Okay. In which case, yeah, worst likely case is either you know, is enough of an arc across the points to, uh, to uh, use it, but that's not even very likely. You could, you know, no, not in the 66. I was going to say you could lose the voltage regulator, but even those aren't, even those aren't electronic. Yeah, those aren't electronic. No, okay. It's solid state that tends to mm -hmm. get wiped by uh, EMP, and... Mm -hmm. Especially in 66, 
really mm -hmm. wasn't anything solid state in a car. <clears throat> no. Or Scott much of anywhere like else. He's got a <laughs> <laughs> in Corvettes, they actually had manual open up and shine mechanical stuff. fuel injection. Wow. It was fuel injected, mm -hmm. not carbureted, but it was mechanical. Mm -hmm. It was actually very complicated. Yeah, I can imagine. I remember hearing and reading other people bitching about that. Almost cured me of wanting a Corvette. Almost. Well, you didn't have to get it with the... Mm -hmm. that. I mean, it just depends on what engine you bought. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was never much of a car person. Well, Saturday I'm going to be at Back to the 50s seeing over 10,000 cars. Cool. Mm -hmm. and, probably get it. and the rule is 64 or older, therefore you can't have any Mustangs. They did that on wow. purpose. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. I don't expect you are. They, they do put in rules just to exclude certain things. Well, if they had Mustangs, they have a lot of Mustangs. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of Impala, so I've got to say that. Impala? Is that all? Impala mm -hmm. is from 58. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It, it was uh, the Bel Air was the top of the line from Chevy through 1957. And then in 58, they came out with the Bel Air. I mean, okay. that, that, the Impala. Right. Are we still in Belarus? Um, no, Switzerland. Pretty sure. Oh, that's right, Switzerland. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we got Switzerland. The, 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 yes. so, we're, so it's still... We're in Zurich. It's still uh, the 21st. It's still the okay. 21st. station every day at 2, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. probably getting there a little early and waiting a little bit after. Yeah. 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after. And look, you're looking for John Joe. No, we're assuming John Doe is going to find us. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean... John Doe has only been ever contact. spotted once. <laughs> No, he's spotted any time he wants to be. <laughs> Inadvertently spotted only once, once when he didn't want to be that we know of. Yeah. Um, and you were there the first day, but that was... That was a practice run. That was kind of a practice run. You didn't actually expect him to and have gotten the message and then gotten out of wherever he was and shown up in Switzerland. Considering we're talking 1923, wouldn't it make more 24. sense to do 15, uh, 24, 15 before, 15 after? Because I remember the days of no one having the same time on their watch. <laughs> You're in Switzerland. Standard time yes. has been in for time a while. Capital. People who have been oh, making chronographs. Yes. <laughs> no. The, no. the watch station clocks across Switzerland will, will be the correct. same. You're right. <laughs> Okay. There uh, still nothing wrong with being there. Yeah, if you want to wait an extra five minutes on either side, I don't think there's any big problem. Yeah. With that. But <laughs> I, I was just remembering the days when mm -hmm. you'd ask mm -hmm. what time everyone would check their watch and then it'd give take an average. Uh, <laughs> get different answers. No one took the reading off my watch because I told them I have my watch set so I'll arrive on time. Mm. Oh. Okay. You're one of the people that trip was for, huh? Yes. Yeah. But I have to make sure that I had to make sure I didn't consistently set it ahead by the same amount. By, by ah. the time I was in high school, I used to listen to the what is it? WWE. WWE. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. set my, my watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder if that's still yes. broadcast. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I set my watches. I use NTP to set everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Well, I shouldn't say that. My appliances at my house, unfortunately, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Now I, I don't have an internet-enabled microwave, for instance. Yeah. You can get them too. NIST is threatening to uh, disable WWE. Really? Yes. Oh. Well, it is costs some to keep it maintained. No doubt, but it is part of their mandate. Mm -hmm. But their mandate has largely been superseded by uh, uh, synchronization for the internet. Not yeah. Largely, the MTP not. protocol is very good about mm -hmm. Keeping things in sync. But how many clocks are there that have been sold that are um, automatically syncing to the WWDs using the WWD signal for a lot? I, I honestly one. don't know. I know we that used to have one until it died. Um, I, I, I know. No, no, make that. We used to have three. One of them died. I still have the other two. I know that a number of them still depend on uh, the power supply cycles and the power company takes care to make sure their cycles generate a correct uh, average time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over the short run, it's a really lousy time signal. Over the long over, run? Over a day, <laughs> it's pretty decent. Hello, Laurel. Over any minute, forget mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. How's our how's our sound? Hopefully it's not a if you if you can't hear me, you raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> sound is a little faint. I don't really know what to do about that though. I don't think that Put there's a actually chunder? what everybody's gonna have to. Now everyone will have to project. That's right! I'll talk like this at all times! Well, that's we're pretending we're, we're doing theater where you're projecting <laughs> all the time. Sorry, I can no longer do that. Yikes, <laughs> my wife says. <laughs> I'm not willing to do that. All right, but well. I would pay uh, in terms of uh, throat the sore throat for a while yeah. when I attempted to. <clears throat> Something about giving a, a thyroidectomy. <laughs> okay. I think they got a little too close to the voice box. Oh, it that's just too bad. It just hasn't been the same. <laughs> so, it's um... It's in there. The human throat is some complicated compromises. Yeah. <laughs> Have we, um... We're in Zurich. Yes. Booked a hotel room here, or are we staying? On... I think I recommended to the hotel to everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. That is a very high pitched, painful sound. Did that yes. come through, Laurel? <laughs> yes, Laurel. Laurel? <laughs> Did you Sorry. hear this? The, the dog shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the glass window shatter? Uh, it didn't quite shatter a window, but yeah, not yet. It was painful. Um, it definitely wins worthy. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to disguise ourselves, like right now, mm -hmm. because oh. Jill is smart enough to recognize what we look like. And if we're trying to lure him here and he does some investigating and he sees us bumbling around, he's going to know the um. jig is up. There's two people that have decent disguise skills. I'm in. And, and he would be open to suggestions. Well, I can disguise. Who, okay, who's going to get the fun job of being Lennon? I, well, in theory, JD. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were waiting for John Doe so that he could do the disguise and mimicry stuff. Well, that would be good for it to have him be Lennon. But for the rest of us, okay, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Because I can't do many things. Just want to not be a wrecking. I just have to not. All, all we have to do is not look like ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we ought to do is disguise ourselves to look like Russian support staff. Maybe I'm a bodyguard or um, something like that. You need a major domo, a secretary, uh, maybe a doctor and a nurse. You know. <laughs> And a nurse here. Yeah, doc, a doctor and a nurse attending would certainly be. You're the only one with science above mediocre, right? Uh, besides oh, her. Yeah, but I mean, 
So you'd be better off being the doctor, and, and you know Russian, right? Mm -hmm. And she knows Russian, so you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then I know Russian. So. Um, well, I suppose I could make some prosthetics to uh, change the shape of people's faces and such. Well, the disguise will do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't have disguise skill. We don't. But Thank you can disguise them. Oh, we can. Yeah. Yes, you can disguise okay. other people. Oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't I, understand that. Yeah. You, you, you. Now you can't help them with like their voices. No. No. At all. Okay. <laughs> but I have the stuff, so I can make people look. And if I work at it, I mean, if I take my time, and I roll well, and use the fake point, <laughs> I might be able to fool ill. I mean, we gotta be disguised now. Yeah. Me and if John Doe redoes our disguises, then make them better. I mean, we just have to make ourselves look like, you know, the bland Swiss citizen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, then bland somebody needs to be really making do. roles for disguising. Whoever, whoever has a good deceit and the skill to disguise people. Oh, I'm, the I, stuff. I'm, I'm a good liar. Yeah, the stuff does this. Well, I mean, yeah. Yes. yeah. I have to disguise stuff, and I'm a good liar. I'm a great liar. I'm a good liar. It's lying On good. a good day, you can be superb. Hmm. Yeah, I can, I can be better than that if I really look at it. Well, I'll be done. Yeah, so what you're looking for is clever disguise. You don't really need... Mimicry. You don't... Well... Yeah. 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 Mimicry doesn't well, help other people. Yeah. And well, you don't need right. master of disguise unless you're trying to look like a specific person. You like mine? Yes. One of the kicks is we don't have to worry about our voices because we're not being other people. We're mm -hmm. being yep. not ourselves. If he has heard our voices, which he undoubtedly has since he was the night watchman and we questioned him, Yes, he can recognize our voices. Yes, he does. And that's very unfortunate. Yes, but who's going to tell him at this moment? There was someone who sounded like Rick yeah. Man in the train station. Well, no, yeah. and, and, and the thing is, I mean, if mm -hmm. you're dressed as a Russian and you have an Australian accent, just don't speak. <laughs> well, no, no, it doesn't actually say that he is going to have an accent. If he had an accent, we'd be hearing it while he's role playing it. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It'd be better. Well, some of us don't do voices. That's too bad, because they're fun. They are fun for those who have the talent. Mm hmm I was going to say, just like being able to draw well, it's fun if you can. If you have developed the skills for it. I will say that with trying those kind of... Well, so, so, I'm waiting for rolls. <laughs> So it is full to skeet, full to seat. All right. Well. And, and I, I need to know what the rules are for. Don't you think rules? It's like, what are you trying to do okay. with your rules? You're, you're disguising yourself, I assume. Yes. I'm disguising myself. And and Jack is disguising himself. And I think that the Russian uh, nurse seems like a reasonable disguise. Okay. Uh. uh Yes, I mean, if you, if you have master of disguise, gender doesn't even matter anymore. You can disguise yourself as, as anybody, but with the, uh, with the lesser one, I... All I, I, I have is the clever disguise. Yeah, with clever disguise, I, I, would, I would give you maybe a... And that is... Uh, to change gender. Defend against intense scrutiny. Yes. Versus casual scrutiny, which oh. doesn't require a stunt, right? So right, yes. I'm just going to make myself look like an ordinary Swiss citizen. Okay. So I'm going to take my time with four elements, four shifts, because I'm lousy at this compared to others. Um, all right, so the base time, if you have Clever Disguise, I is do. four minutes. Okay, I got it. Uh, so... We're going to be in the shadow. One, two, three, four hours. 
four first. hours. I can spend four hours doing this. I'll just do it at night. What's one less than that? One hour. One hour. One hour seems much more reasonable. And that's, yeah, that's together. three shifts. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to do three shifts. She oh. says the way you rolling. <laughs> yeah, that's what John Doe usually does. Is, is the three shifts one hour. Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. For this one, I guess I will only do three shifts. Which gets me to <laughs> legendary. Okay, that's pretty good. Not bad. Worse. I will spend a big point. Cleans up well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. I've used it twice now. What, cleans up well? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, like you're talking about shaving or something. Pardon me? You're talking about shaving. Mm. So my wife does say that she heard the dog make the shrieky sound, but she's mostly paying attention to the twins game. Hello, Shuma! <laughs> and uh, hello, Pepe Nugger. Oh. That's uh, kind of a weird name, but okay. Oh, and thank you for the host, Shuma. Uh, the net is full of very unusual names. Yes. And some of them are, I find completely unpronounceable. Hmm. Intentionally, um, I believe they made them that way. Probably in at least a few days. So, what was your final result? Uh, two better than superb. What is that? Epic. 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 Yes. Uh -oh. Good. Better than good, obviously. So or then, good. That, that's three shifts. So then, I can put a disguise on Rick. Be an ordinary Swiss citizen. <clears throat> Alright. Well, spending an hour, I get you to Epic. Good. Yeah, really anything over superb is is fine. Um, because most of the people are just going to be average people. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they'll have mediocre. Uh, Shuma says hi to everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, what you really don't want is, like, Joe Average rolling a plus four and going, that guy's wearing a mask or something. <laughs> so I just did one for Simon Wells and I got another epic. Okay. So I'm going to do what the best I can do, huh? And then for Eddie. Uh, well. I did legendary. And two legendaries. <clears throat> yeah. You know, the, the police in the station or anybody else who might be a little more observant than than Joe guy on the street. Uh -huh. Oh, they can also take shifts. Are we smoking a cigar there or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm figuring that a... Should probably start uh, playing cards. German army officer's uh, great coat, even with all the insignia taken off, would not quite work with the with the disguise. Probably not. It's it's best to wear the disguise and not extra stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have like a cigarette case or an easily concealable knife or mm -hmm. you know something like that. A holster that's designed specifically to, to fit close to your body for a gun. I believe. But I wouldn't be, be using your sling staff right yeah. now. <laughs> uh, when, when it's broken down, how big is it? It's about... Let's see. So, so it's a, a sling staff. The staff part is only like that long. It's okay. not a walking stick staff. Uh, no, 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 they're much longer than that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like at least four feet. So they're okay. more like this. Yes. Okay. Still, roll, uh, even call it four and a half feet, a nice round number. Each piece is just uh, 18 inches long. Okay. Well, 18 inches is three feet. Right. 18. So 
Eighteen times two is three. Three. Feet. It breaks, it breaks three, three pieces. pieces. It's not oh. two. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay, two, three pieces. Yep. Okay, I don't remember that. So uh, you could carry it broken down and concealed on your body. Mm-hmm. But, but there are things like your Tommy gun, for instance, or your your BAR. Yeah. You're not you're not carrying those. No. no. They're in the bag. I figure I, I figure any uh moderately long and heavy coat and that would be a perfectly ordinary thing in Switzerland. It's this in time January. Of year yes, to have a so. long heavy coat. I can I can preferably we want a Russian coat. <clears throat> well or or something that's a good imitation there all yeah. All right. That would be fine. To so be an otherwise ordinary Swiss citizen who just happens to be wearing... Well, no, no, no. You're right, you're right. We want a Russian coat when we disguise yourself as Leonard's staff. Right yeah. now we want a Swiss coat. <coughs> yeah. All right. Uh-oh. Stepped in a hole. In a hole. Fixed. So that took you a few hours. Mm-hmm. Um, it's evening now on the 21st. Okay. Anybody doing anything else tonight? <clears throat> I don't. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to go. Oh boy, that's that's contacting. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I think I can take my time here. When when we were with the president, yes, the advanced. Um, what what do they call them? The security people that go to the site in advance of the visit. Mm-hmm. Uh, advance party. The advance party would tend to find places to stay and all the rest of that, right? Yeah. How familiar am I with what they were doing? Because I'm thinking it would be perfectly reasonable for a nurse to come through and evaluate different facilities where Lennon may wish to stay without stating who it's for. Uh, make an academic. Alright. Yeah. How was that cigar, huh? Uh, that's good. You're reasonably familiar with it. You remember it fairly well. Okay. Well, basically I'm going to go through what I remember of them doing so that tomorrow I can, as a nurse, Start looking for a facility that might be able to deal with my client's special needs. All right, and you're going to be a Russian nurse. A Russian nurse, and the per- your you special get, needs is that he has medical, medical needs. needs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then. All right. And we we know what he was said to be suffering from. Hemorrhagic so. fever, I believe. Sounds right. Sounds right. Sounds horrible. So but, yeah, probably. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does sound horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I believe that they generally say my unnamed patient. Mm-hmm. What did you do to you? I gave myself tennis elbow. That's not, not a feature. Not my playing tennis. I not my playing tennis. I, I, I don't gave, know why. I, I've given myself playing tennis el- elbow playing on video game arcade machines. Hmm. <laughs> I yeah, apparently did it while moving stuff, stuff around at work last night. Okay. Oh, you can work his count. Anyway, all right. If I so, knew what it was that I did. You wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Well, I might do it again, but I'd do it differently. Um, then I might go for the workman's comp, but. <laughs> you don't know for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes, Oreo. All right. So that's your your like maybe writing down in a checklist. Checklist. Yep. That it, sort of a thing. Exactly that. And remember, you gotta have a clipboard. You look so, very official with a clipboard. You look more official with a clipboard. You could probably tag that. In fact, in fact, fact since you're doing that, I'm going to give you another. Uh. So you're spending this extra time on to prepare to for prepare tomorrow. for it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that. You actually have a superb result. Okay. That's true. Writing down everything you on the good board. Remember, you'll probably remember more than when you started. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you could ask us what we remember about it. I could. Wait. But that mean go to the hotel. 
I much prefer you with shorter fur. Hmm. Yes. The way he holds that, though, it's just... It's like a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> just like... It's got a cigar there. Hey, All right. Anybody else doing anything on the 21st? Nope. Can you give me a light? Uh, if not... Is there any reason that as part of the disguise role I can have incorporated the hat band for the rating? I can't think of any reason why that would be a problem. I, I figured I would ask now before it came up. So, so you're... I'm disguised as a Russian nurse. As a Russian nurse... I don't know what their you have, uniform normally was, to tell you the truth. I, 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 I only know a general, like, nurse uniform. I don't even really remember the British the, nurse the, uniform. The, the, the kick of it is, as a Russian nurse doing preliminary work for a visit by a potentate, you'd be trying hard not to look like a Russian nurse. Um, why do you say that? You're an advanced man. You're part of the advanced team. You don't want to announce to the world that you're bringing somebody important by running around to places looking okay. like what you are. Okay, so you have to disguise yourself like you're disguising yourself poorly. <laughs> exactly. That's easy enough to do. Actually, with a nurse, you wouldn't be expected to disguise yourself, I don't think. You would be expected to find a location that they can case. The rest of the team can case. Now when I finally decided to take a picture of you smoking a cigar, now you're not smoking anymore. That's what turned up when I ignored the various, uh... How did that happen? Halloween costume, shall we call it? Right. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That seemed, I mean, that, that, I that looks see more 19th very... century to me, but... Russian not... nurse, World War One. Christina okay. Joan R.N. Alright. Well, yeah, you, could, that. you could very easily replace that headdress with a more more ordinary uh, lady's hat as an attempt at disguise, if you see what I mean. Uh, and evidently there's a site called Nurse Buff that has 65 <laughs> photos of vintage nurses, nurses through the centuries. Uh, okay. Oh, Sandy. Yes, but how much of it is fake? There's that. All right. I sincerely believe it is, that most of the cat pictures are real. It is the morning of the 22nd, then. All right. I will look up, or have someone have looked up the train schedule, and whenever a train coming from the general direction... <laughs> so... I yeah. will start from the train station. Well, I'm going to go and look for a place that has Russian clothing, uh, surplus or something that we can buy, and so we can disguise ourselves as Lenin's entourage. When we're ready. When um, we're ready. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to take my time, because contacting is not my strongest <laughs> skill. <laughs> well, you could ask another group member who might have better contacting than you to try this. There we go. That's the costume we should be going for. Maybe minus the gas masks? <laughs> yes. For well, those viewing, Unless it's that really weird Doctor Who episode. <laughs> for those viewing, I found a picture of nurses with gas masks. They're all wearing gas masks in case of a gas attack. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, just don't eat Mexican. No. What are the official languages of Switzerland? Which one is most commonly used? The German, German French, and actually Swiss. It's romance. Romance or romance. something. Like right. Well, whatever they call it. Yeah. And Italian down near Italy. Okay. So, so and that like French, French, German, <laughs> Italy, Italian, and romance. You wouldn't hear much Italian near Missouri. Did you no. mean French? No. French, German, Italian, and romance. Okay, I thought you said English instead of French. No. I'm all like romance. Uh, um, it's all right. Is Zurich in the French section? Can't remember for the. It's Switzerland it's in relation to the surrounding. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Well, it's, Jack is speaking Except German. for Italian, if you're anywhere in in Switzerland, they'll not think it's weird. Okay. If you're German. speaking German or French or Romance. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. No, unless you're trying to speak Romance to somebody who doesn't live in Switzerland. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then they wonder, they wonder no. what the heck you're I doing. I actually speak French because World I don't know if Illinois speaks French. Russia, nurses, uh, Yes. Look so those are yes. Red Cross nurses. Yes, those are Red Cross nurses. Yes, look at you. As evidenced by the big Red Cross on mm -hmm. their aprons. I think it's easier to shoot at. Yep, mm -hmm. center of mass highlighted. Why? Well, because you don't want to disguise me as a Russian. No, I'm a French, a Swiss citizen. Right now. Uh huh. Swiss citizens, Swiss but citizens. Because Swiss you citizens. don't speak Russian? Is because I don't speak Russian. Okay. But when the time comes, what are you going to have my position in Lenin's entourage be since I don't speak Russian? I haven't figured that out yet. Well, if Simon can come up with an idea, these are not cauliflower in their ears. Mm -hmm. I'd be more than willing. You could to leave me uh, as a Swiss citizen who's interfaced between. The Russians and the Swiss. The liaison? The liaison. liaison. Okay, that works. I have to make you a government... No. No. No? The Russian government would have people that do that, too. No, not me. They're also, a, they're, they're also the, site, the type of thing that you can hire Hi private companies private to do companies. for you. Yep. I mean, it's a personal concierge. Mm-hmm. Okay, that works. Or, yes. Oh, you're very, very happy, aren't you? Yes. I'm very happy. I'm yeah. international. I'm true public. Oh, well, yes. I'm a very happy dog. You're a very happy DOG. Although there were some pictures yes. in that search that would probably be considered not appropriate in all environments. It was right. much better than I had halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they'd all be porn nurses? or? <laughs> I, I expected the Halloween costumes. Okay. I expected more on the order of other exotic wear. Okay. I'm glad that I didn't get that. So, it's um, possibly the fact that you put Russian. I hats. believe that helped. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I know Simon has French. What about German? Mm -hmm. oh, no, he's got he's got English, Mandarin, Japanese, French, and Farsi. Two stunts be um, uh, Boy, you linguist know. and um, gift, of gift of tongues. Yeah, those those are really very useful. useful. Yeah, uh, yes. linguist but not gift of tongues. Mm. Uh, yeah. One unused language which I can still yes. use something different. I still have a few unused. Sure, but once you once you've got gift of tones, the let's see no. one, two, three. I've only used three of the seven mm -hmm. languages: Atlantean, Ancient Minoan, Jupiterian, mm. four more to choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so you are you are now now fluent in the. Uh, language of whatever beings we never saw that live on Jupiter and have done some exploring of the outer solar system and left artifacts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of their race even still exists, but I've reverse engineered their language from the signal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. I'm just, I'm just going to fall asleep here. This is just so nice. This is just so nice. nice. I'm just going to sleep or sleep. Actually, those would be my second and third stones because I already know what my next one is going to be. My next one really needs to be best that money can buy. Mm. Mm. Because you don't have enough resource stones. <laughs> You're trying to go uh, for a mall. No, I'm not trying to go for a mall. Okay. But 
Um, Simon tends to do that anyway, so he yes. might as well. <laughs> no, no, I don't disagree. I'm just... <laughs> It's it's very much an in character stunt for him. Yes, and that's I think the the last of a set of three you were telling me about that can mm -hmm. be used kind of in concert to ridiculous effect. Yes, one of one of those. Okay, we should just go buy Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy invest money and can buy long term investments and money is no object. Mm -hmm. hotel. So Are you, Annie's going out and like going to various uh, hotels near the train health, station? Well, Is that right? Well, health spas and clinics. Health spas and clinics. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So who else has contacting It's above average? Not I. Average is for my oh, hands. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> right now, anyway. I do, but I'm off on other things. Rick? Rick man have contacting above Oh, I don't you? have it above average. It's my, an average. Mine said average. Okay, then I guess I'm going myself. Simon apparently is raising his hand. What? Do you have a pair? No, I have epic at the moment. Oh. Well, then you Not naturally, <laughs> but, but you yeah, have. Well, then That's why I specified at the moment. At the moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the then, special item. Then you should be looking around for places where we can buy Russian clothing. Yes, you'll be much more successful with your epic starting point than my average. Sure, I can do that. No, I think shift, six shifts has an advantage. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. Now, admittedly, that only comes out superb, but that's probably sufficient. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, you find a, a second-hand clothing store where apparently somebody from Russia sold several trunks full of clothing. Okay. Um, some of it's really nice. I had an NPC show up who had it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to help the group up. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have a lot more stunts we use. Yeah. Yes. Yes, John. Um, Let's see. Now. Let's see. I can't go. Hell? I can't go for just buy it all. Clothes. I have to wait till Make two o'clock. resources roll. So we have two o'clock. They go into the. I think they have a library around here. I imagine they have a few. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you, you could literally buy all the clothing in this store, not just the Russian clothing. <laughs> but there you go. You bought the Russian clothing. Mm -hmm. Including all the really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am... Um, does this hotel have a concierge, or is this even a guy at the yes. checking desk? Yes, there is a concierge. You, you are in a nice hotel. Okay, so. Upper um, class. Simon was paying, so I didn't figure you needed to uh, um, say, <clears throat> where would be the nearest uh, good library? Uh... Well, the best nearby library would be at the university, the university library. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
I'll, uh, I'll start walking out. Uh, how far away is that? Turn around and come back. <laughs> how far away is it and where is it? About two miles that way. Two miles that way? Okay, I can walk two miles, no problem. I can use the exercise. Thank you very much. Let's see, yeah, Hello, side. Mr. Mister. So, you got the watch. Say, hey guys, this is Jack. Um, I'm going to the university library because I can't think of anything else to do. So I'm going to go read. Okay. Um, if you need me, that's where I'll be. All right. Okay, so you... Um, buying trunk loads? You, yeah, remember I said several trunk loads. Yes, I did. <laughs> you, you now own that. Mm -hmm. How are you getting it back to the hotel? <laughs> I pay you to have it delivered. The universal tool. Okay. <laughs> okay, we don't have a delivery service, but I can probably find someone who can... Thank you. Throw it into a truck and, and deliver it to your hotel. This time another bill. Number two. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, number three. <laughs> yes, and I suppose since you rolled fantastic on your resources, you can you have easily have the money to do that. The overflow, huh? Well, one shift is probably used to have it in the Swiss currency. All right. Yeah, Swiss. Uh, yeah. They, they they use they use francs, but it's not exactly the same as the French franc <laughs> necessarily. Yes, it's the Swiss franc. Yeah. yeah. That sounds confusing. It's like Hong Kong dollars and US dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although the exchange rate's probably closer to one to one. Well, it's probably that case. Than Canadian <laughs> versus the United States. Yeah, I would guess. Because Hong Kong dollars, it was when my dad was there 31 years ago, it was like 7.8 to one. So you were paying hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know that yet. Until you realize. Mm -hmm. how, how, what time of day is it? Okay, the German mark just went morning. down by another. <laughs> it doesn't matter what time of day it is. Well, yes, it does, because a half hour ago it was worth way much more. But yeah, but you see, a half hour from now it's going to be worth how much? Way less. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what time of day it is. It just you matters mean, that it's a time of day. You mean the German toilet paper? Yeah. Well, that's the stuff. It's yeah. not wheelbarrows. Not with yet. It yet. Yeah. <laughs> Won't get there for another three or four years. Yeah. But their inflation rate at the moment, I haven't looked it up, but it was something we would be appalled by, like eight percent, ten percent, and increasing. Yeah. So, um, the clothing is going to show up before you do. Okay. Uh, So it'll be sitting there sort of near the front desk waiting for you, I guess. Okay. Yes, I know. It's fine. He's not going to try to take any of your food away from you. <laughs> Honest. But she doesn't believe that. No. She's not trusting. Anybody else have anything to do in the morning? Oh, it's the 22nd, isn't it? Yes. It is the 22nd, yes. Um, just breakfast and trying to look as Swiss as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> trying to look as Swiss as possible. Make a deceit roll. In my room. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's well, not fair. Most, mostly just uh, well-groomed <laughs> and very tidy. Uh, plus the 
disguise Jack to take him off the wheel. I'm average, averagely deceitful. Okay. Oh, that's abrasive. He's deceitful. That's fine. So I believe my contacting can be used for planting rumors. Absolutely, is, that is one of the things that contacting is used for. Which is probably the most appropriate thing to be doing during the day. Alright. What is the rumor you are trying to spread? That song is Someone is very interested in a high quality um please stop doing Medical facility specializing in what this is? Hemorrhagic fever. Hemorrhagic fever. Yes. So, they, not being specific about anything other than the fever. Oh, and basically, it'll be all there. I think. Okay. Maybe a sweet one. Okay. Um, and that's off contacting. Yep. Yes. Okay. So it is a base of great plus the shifts for time. Time? There's nothing saying it's fine. Time. 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 A base of great. I don't know what the base time is, but I'm spending all day at it. So it starts at great. And then the shift you had to adjudicate that at one point in the past. Yes. And it depends on let's see, Yeah, they really, really, really don't give you any indication. Well, I'll let you just keep that a secret from me. Mm -hmm. I have told you what I'm doing. I'm spending doing. a day. I'm spending the day doing this. The roll result is great. <laughs> And it is basically, hey, somebody has recently been asking about places that have good facilities for treating. And you, you want this rumor to spread over uh, through the, Zurich? Through the medical community of Zurich, probably, because, well, okay. I, I, I don't expect the staff. person on the street to be hearing this. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the size of the area that you're trying to spread the rumor in. Okay. So, um... We're, we're just looking for a place in Zurich. Mm -hmm. so. That's why I took a really long time when John Doe was trying to sp spread Over particular... the globe? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Plus, he, he took extra shifts, so... I, I, I believe you... <laughs> Had him doing that for about a month. Yes. I don't need a, a big no. area. All right. Um, Is it a separate role to actually find a place that would be suitable, or? <laughs> I think it would yeah. be separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, separate from the the rumor. Okay. Are you are you really trying to find a place that's suitable, or are you just visiting random places that might be suitable, and you don't really care if you find the right one or not? Since no one's sick, I'm not really concerned about whether it's the okay. right one. Okay. See, then you don't need to make a roll for that. <laughs> okay. You're not looking for a specific. Well, no, no, no. You do want to make it look real, though. Yeah, but she's visit she's visiting all the different places. She doesn't care if she is successful or not. Well, whatever place we choose ought to be considered the best one in, in Zurich. Otherwise, ill might get suspicious. I mean, it's like... Okay, okay, make a roll. I, I was about to say, if she gets taken in by someone to be convinced that theirs is the best place, even though it isn't, uh -huh. that that's be a failure and an acceptable failure from my point of view. But, okay, that... Wow. Less than optimal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Probably not what you were looking for. Not at all what I was looking for. Uh, and this is to actually do the contacting. I guess it's last time I visited Zurich. <laughs> okay. 
Everyone was talking fast. <laughs> ah, that's even worse. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Totally I mean, you well. have some amazing dice rolling abilities. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Might move moving down a bit. Ordinary probability. Uh, it is on my list still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, at some point, I just say, Five, eight except, later. Ah, I came out even there. Um. We go. So I, I will just keep it at the average. All right. That way I can still complete the one in a day. Um, alright, to it's coming up towards... If actually good, you could do contacting aided by science. If, I... Although that might not work if you don't actually have any medical skills. I have forensics. Yeah. She has forensic medicine. Um... I can find the best uh, forensic scientist. That's yes, it. that's really important that's, after he's dead. That's, that's, <laughs> that's all we need. So, well, one of those might be useful. It's 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 lunchtime. It's coming towards two. Anybody need anything done? Well, I, once it gets you know afternoon, I want to start moseying back over to the train station. Okay. Moseying. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to take a direct route. I'm going to go kind of a wandering route just in case someone's following me. You know, it doesn't really look like I have a. That's my end destination. All right. Yes. Shall we do a different person each day? That be... Yes. Okay. So. Who did it the first day? You did? <clears throat> wants to take two days in a row, I mean, this is one of those burying yeah. it in an irregular pattern. Like yeah, well, we'll just, yeah, we'll just... through the short straw this morning? Right. So I will make sure I get to the train station at about 1.45. And I will, um, stand there reading the newspaper. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and you're surveying the crowd, I assume, mm -hmm. while pretending to read a newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, make an investigation roll. Uh, that's so good. Okay, uh, so this person is not trying to hide. Um... You spot Betty Brant in the crowd. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna guess it's John Doyle. <laughs> but anyways, um. Okay. I'll walk over. Cigarette. Actually, she says that in French. I'm speaking French because I don't want. To. I don't know if Bill knows I speak French, so. <clears throat> yes, French. Well, Betty speaks French, German, Russian, and the native language of English. So, where is a good place to talk? Um, the hotel? Our sure, hotel? let's go to your hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to work on your pickup line. <laughs> this one was an easy one. <laughs> wow, I have a hard time explaining this one to Paris. <laughs> did, did you actually say that out yeah. loud? She yeah. smiles at you. <laughs> You won't have to. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when we get within radio range, I'm going to go and I'm going to start tapping in like Morse codes. 
Okay. Um, meet at the hotel. Um, Corey found. Yeah. Corey? Corey. Oh. Well. Jack, he thinks in terms of, you know, okay. hunting. <coughs> uh, okay. Battle. Oh, attacks that's, and that's plausible. I, I knew exactly what he meant. You get back a, mess, uh, a quick message of busy, tell me later. With A-S as the initials. Well, apparently, um, Annie's busy, but the rest of the gang over there. there. Mm -hmm. yeah, they'll, they'll have, uh, you know, Scooby and Velma and Shady there. So. Well, I guess you must be Velma. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it, I mean, it's just, like, up the street from the hotel. Mm -hmm. Go in. Uh, you go up towards your room. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Does Simon have the biggest room? He paid for them. Yeah, I mean, you. If he wants I would think you're room. actually in like a suite of rooms. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like a presidential so, suite. Yeah, oh, probably, probably a not sitting. called the residential suite, but whatever. Okay. Sure. Is this the kind of hotel where they keep your key and you have to go ask for it? Uh, no. I mean, they will if you ask them to. Oh, okay. just, just that in the, depending where you were, like in the 30s, I know they used to do that a lot. Yeah. Still do some hotels in Italy. It's very odd to me. Never been to Italy. Never been to Italy. Been to France. I've been to the Paris Airport. I don't think that makes you an expert on France. No. <laughs> I never played with it. You never played with it. After all the disparaging remarks I make about the French, the one place I go is France. Well, okay, so. Are you going up to Simon's mm -hmm. yep. suite? Yep. <laughs> yes, so, definitely. Um, a Mediterranean suite is what it would be called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I think so. Yes, Simon. So there's, there's a main parlor area which has sleeping like a Murphy bed, mm -hmm. and then there's on either side there's a bedroom mm -hmm. with a you know full bed, and you can put other beds in there mm -hmm. if you want as well. So it's enough for everybody, yep. mm -hmm. basically. And he gets her own room. Answer the door. Well. Is everyone else here? Except Annie? Thank you. <laughs> sure. Hello, Betty. Excuse me, can I use the uh, bathroom for a moment? Go ahead. <laughs> I will get you 10 of this guy's thumbs off. <laughs> yes. About four minutes later, John Doe walks out of the bathroom. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Well, all right. So, what did you want? Well, here is um, here's our crazy idea. We think that we have a small possibility of luring ill here. Okay. If you pretend to be Lennon, we pretend to be. I pretend to be like a security. Okay. Um, yeah. This, this is going to have a small window uh, of opportunity because the papers are going uh, two days from now, the papers are going to announce Lennon's death. Well, maybe we can figure out a way to delay that. Or maybe we'll have our Lennon, you, this counter, counteract it. But anyways, the point is we're going to have Annie be a nurse. We're going to have Rick be a doctor. Um, I'm going to be a security guy. We'll be security guys. Yeah. I was going and to say. We're going to have Simon be like our liaison with the Swiss, and you're going to we're going to announce that that Lennon. Um, Actually, we're better off not announcing anything. Well, well we're going to eventually get discovered that Lennon is alive and recuperating in Switzerland. Okay. And rumors of his death were false. All right. And they were hoping we could convince L. I come back and finish the job. Rumors of my death, death have been greatly exaggerated? Correct. That's the basic idea. Okay. 
And then when he tries to come here to finish the job, I break all 206 of his bones. Well, that seems a little excessive. I go for breaking his neck is fine, I would think. But, okay. So we're trying to spread a rumor. Lennon's death was, in the death announcement will be fake, that Lennon actually came here to Switzerland because he heard that there is a better treatment here which right, which saved his life, though mm -hmm. he's you know on the edge still, you know, not fully recovered. So not only will he be impersonating Lennon, I'll be impersonating a very ill Lennon. Yes. Very sick Lennon. Yeah. Okay. See, if he were totally normal, he'd be back in Russia. So it makes sense that the only reason he's not in Russia is because he's still sick. Okay. But he has to be like on the mend or something. Or otherwise, Will just has to sit there and wait and he just croaks. So he has to be like getting better. Okay. It's, that means whoever hired Il to do this won't be happy. And if Il decided to do this all on his own for some reason, he again won't be happy. I think Lil would have done this on his own. <laughs> no, that's why I said that it's a second possibility. But he, but the, the, the bottom line is, no matter what reasoning it is, if he truly believes that this is Lennon and that Lennon is not dying, <laughs> he's going to have to come in and try to figure out what's going on and finish what he started. And hopefully then we have a chance at spotting him and grabbing him. So, I, as Lennon, will have to come into the city with a with my entourage, like on a train or something like that. Um, yeah. I'm almost thinking. We almost thought off. Well, you could. Well, I mean, uh, if you're really sick, you couldn't do it. You couldn't go by carriage. That would kill you. Um, oh, that's what I was thinking of train. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of how far back we got to go. We have to go to the Russian border and get on a train. And that would be the best way. And that way, we're on a train. Mm -hmm. Away from Russia, there's a, there's a trail there. Are they gonna go all the way back to Moscow? No. No. <clears throat> Which, what you can't do that. I can do that. You can't do that. That's interesting. No, What's I interesting? I can, <laughs> John Doe saying that. I can do that. I just could be in a fight for my life. That's all. <laughs> Keep a phrase at her situation. She gets into the maiden form, and then I'm going to try talking to her again. Maybe she'll be more receptive. But until that happens, eh, no point. I'm not going to keep the beehive. Good idea. Um, so, Minsk. Okay. <coughs> that would be where I would say. So we go to Minsk, disguised like say we are now. Well, not you, but you get it. And cloud and nine. Yeah. Cloud nine. Use cloud yeah, nine to go to Minsk. Seen, so. Okay. Ooh, okay. At all. Is cloud yes. nine somewhere in the area then? It's on its way. Right? Oh, we it's... took it here. Yes. Okay, and then it's here. You're not you're not actually. Okay. Not, we would remember in the that, meeting, you would right. yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's how we got yes, here. The telling all but the John Doe wouldn't that. know that. No, no, John no. Doe wouldn't know that, yeah. but all the rest And the players that. weren't remembering. Okay, so you're just reminding. I was yeah. remembering. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, 
Um, so oh, yes, Cloud Nine to Minsk. Then we get on a train, rent a car. Yep. As Russians. Mm -hmm. And then take the train to Zurich. Um, now, somebody is checking out medical facilities, so he will have one that we're going to go to. Preferably so one that's really good at treating hemorrhagic fever. Hemorrhagic fever. Hemorrhagic fever. Okay. Sure. Then, how do we let it leak out that Lennon's there? That is a good question. Um, well, I mean, mean, there are... Do we want to leak or do we want to make like an official press announcement? No, we want a rumor to spread. So who's that well bunging guy in the bath chair being wheeled through the train station in Zurich? Yeah. Towards a waiting ambulance. Um, obviously it's not going to be me spreading the rumor. I'm really good at that, but I'm going to have to be posing as the very sick Lenin the whole time. Right. Um, um, so is there any... Anybody else who's really good at spreading rumors? To answer your question, no. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's right, you've got what? different contact. Mm -hmm. What ring are you wearing, Simon? <laughs> um, contacting deceit, investigation, and report of empathy. Is that all? I'm going to just throw some more in there. Oh, right? <laughs> well, there's more available. So yes, we do have somebody who can do a decent job of spreading rumors. Okay. I feel like I'm in some sort of German fantasy. At the <laughs> 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 okay. You have all these magic rings. <laughs> Manner, I say. Unfortunately, none of them are more involved. So, um, I'm keeping that one to myself. The whole, hmm? the holes in our plant? plant? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, oh. it's snarky comment. No, it's it's a pun actually. Why are you keeping it to yourself then? Well, I was going to ask Simon if he had one that turned into a two-wheel convert uh, conveyance, because, you know, then it could be a ring cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it could be. <laughs> you, you, asked didn't, for it. you didn't keep it to yourself. He asked for it. I didn't. <laughs> I have known it was that I, I blame way, myself. I would have put my so. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, had, against. and if he had one that covered the globe, it would of course be a ring world. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, that was a good series. True. So, um, so we have a plan. You have the ability to spread that rumor. Mm -hmm. I assume that you're dressed the way you are because you're supposed to be Swiss. Yes. Um, so, John Doe starts speaking to you in French with a Swiss accent. Okay. <laughs> Can you speak like this? He says. I try. Uh, oh. Make a deceit roll. It's going to be too. Oh, inspiring. Very good. <laughs> he had a good teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, that would convince just about anyone.
So, uh, yeah, we should get on this plan as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we should try to get to Minsk, at, you know, by tomorrow. I okay. So, do you want to start the rumor, like, now, tonight? Or you, you want to, like, get on cloud line, like, I th tonight? I think, I think Simon can start the rumor that... He Someone is arriving. Is going to be arriving. Okay, so mm -hmm. he should stay here. Yep. So he would stay here uh -huh. and begin the rumor spreading. Gotcha. And the rest of us get on Cloud Nine and head uh -huh. to Minsk. Do we want one other person to stay with stay with Simon just in case? Oh. One person is it? No, me because. We'd be security. Yeah. He'd be the doctor and nurse. Yeah. I don't think we, need, we can be any we short. Need all of us. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we need at least at least two, at least two, two security guys, one of you know, one of whom can can pass for high ranking and one of whom doesn't talk very much. That'd be the absolute minimum that's possible. Okay. So where is Annie? Uh, checking out uh, plausible clinics and, okay. and uh, uh -huh. treatment places. And doing her own rumor spreading. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use Morse code. Okay. <laughs> Something's clicking on you. Okay. At, <laughs> at an appropriate time when I would not <laughs> where it would not cause trouble, I will respond. You can do it within a few minutes. I'm okay. Sure. Clear now. <laughs> okay. Uh, call up your um, your crew and get Cloud Nine to come over to the hotel. Uh, it's all of us to sit Simon are going to uh, Minsk. We are. We are. Um. That's what happens when you miss meetings. Well. I, I suppose that that is what happens when I miss a meeting. Uh, in her head, does she know about how long it'll take Cloud9 to reach Minsk? Um, Brett has no idea. I believe it's on the order of hours. Okay, so it isn't a problem to do it overnight. Mm -hmm. Want to start as, as early as possible to give us the new version. Ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Empty. Empty. That was good fortune. It wouldn't have tipped so easily if it wasn't. I would tip it over just fine, being cold. I'll run a one. Yes, overnight. Overnight, it would take. Okay. Ah! Oh, please. And probably train is about the same amount of time. Yeah. Okay. No, the fact okay. that your vehicle is not designed for speed. It is not. It is designed for luxury. Mm -hmm. uh, I will call back later, but uh, flip the idea that I am uh, the part of the advanced party arranging the locale and meet you at the train station. Okay. Could be done. Yeah. Could be done. Okay. And I will talk to you when I have free time. I'm still working on mm -hmm. finding us a locale. Okay. Uh, uh, sounds like Andy's going to be staying here as part of the advanced team as well. Which is unfortunate. Well, well we're going to need you eventually. We're going to call back. Me. Me again. <laughs> <laughs> When it's when I have time, I respond. 
Yes. Well, you are going to have to be in Minsk because you got to have the nurse with the doctor. So you can't stay here. Okay, I will talk later. Still working on. Because otherwise, I got to have John Doe disguise Edgy as a nurse. Talk later. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, local contacts that would be plausible, uh, plausible as a nurse just for on the train and then disappear? Um, sure. I mean, I spent you know, a whole lot of time in this area, but uh, no. But think about it. To get on the train, you're going to need a person who very much needs assistance. We're going to need two strong guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a doctor and a nurse. Right. But what I mean is the, the nurse who first uh, the nurse who first gets off the train with Lennon and the nurse who's making uh, d doing advance work on uh, suitable facilities don't have to be the same person. If the nurse who gets off the train with Lennon isn't seen after that, I don't who see Who's going to be the nurse you. on the train if it isn't Annie? Uh, that's why I was, that's that's why why I was asking JD to yes. see of any local contacts who could, who could plausibly uh, perform that function. Perform that function to start with and then just fade out of sight. Okay. Um. Or for that matter, stick stick around in case a uh, case a scenario requires a second nurse, depending on which seems like the better idea. After what happened with one of uh, with the guy of Rick's that got turned into a vampire, and then what happened with Hawk, I'm a little paranoid <laughs> at uh, having somebody who isn't, isn't as tough as us. Oh, is that why you want them to fade away after? That's what I was thinking. If they're just not around anymore, they're not around to be questioned. Or, um, well, I don't like it. bringing another person in. I mean, to keep, I think I'd keep the circle small. Okay. I... I have. You're, I mean, I have people in Zurich. I can just call up, and they'd they'd help me. Okay. Um, I was I was figuring anybody you know anybody JD trusted we'd be safe with for that just far. Just they remember who we're going up against. Block. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I and I I see from that's why. You want the person to fade away immediately is because there's a chance that we're all going to get dosed with some disease That's or right. something nasty. And like any that. random normal person who I, any of my contacts who I would pick, would normally just they die. They would that would be it. They're not going to have the endurance to throw off whatever horrible nasty thing. Um, Ill concocts. Ill has thrown together. Yeah. I'm sure he has several extremely unpleasant diseases that he can. Mm, for quick use in case of emergency. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> in case of accident, break. <laughs> no, in case of good health, break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um,. I mean, do we want to involve one of my many contacts or not? Well, I've argued one side of it. Max <laughs> argued the other. Annie's not there. Any comments from Rip or Simon? Yeah. Or from John Doe. If I, knows, well, I mean, I can tell you If he you knows that, that Annie is currently planting rumors as a Russian nurse. Yeah, so the... The spread of the rumor, I mean, it might get out there even before we get here. And this uh, sighting of the person who spread it. Um, well, well, if he would disguise you as a nurse, he could disguise you as a different. Could, yes. I mean, no, you could. 
and that nurse could take off on a train for somewhere else, having done her duty of finding a location. Mm -hmm. um. I was simply thinking of, of the practical on uh, you know, Annie may and not be done with this job so until the end of you know, end of business yeah. hours today, but I suppose that still gives us a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. John Doe knows Annie's capabilities for deceit at this point. Yes. But still not up to the test, new tests. Yeah. Um, so sure, what, what I can do is just, I mean, disguise, have a contact, disguise her, it's easier for the boy than the man for this. Right. Have them come with us to Minsk, ride the train with us, and then, yes, once it, that part is done, have the disguise off and uh, they fade away. They are unrecognizable as the person who came with us. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had a nurse with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, basically, when the train arrives in Zurich, you take the disguise off of the nurse, and she just walks out, walks away. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But actually, fine. she probably walks into the facility and mm -hmm. then takes the disguise off and walks away, mm -hmm. leaving by a different door or right. such. Whatever seems least noticeable. Okay. the person available only for one scene, you can give them three advances, give them three advances instead of two. That's they can be a more capable person. I don't know how we're going to do more than one scene. Well, I don't know how we're going to do only one scene. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Since it's the train, the train station, and then wherever it is that we're Yes. Mm -hmm. And even if so, we had Annie at the train station and we disguised this woman to look just like Annie. So when we get to the train station in Zurich, she takes her disguise off. And then when we all come out, there's Annie there. And so we have our same Russian nurse. Okay. But it's still two scenes. Uh, well, no, you, 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 you missed a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Annie gets on the train. Annie. Okay, sneaks onto the train. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. But even so, we have to have a scene on the train and a scene in the train station getting on the train. That's two I scenes. think it's more than one scene. I think it's more than one scene. So the bottom line is, I can't think of how to get the one scene. Right. Mm -hmm. So, because of the weird way that <laughs> network of contacts works, um, I can really only. Takes one to know one. Doesn't it substitute deceit for something else? What is uh, it? Substitutes deceit for empathy. I was saying, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing uh, Annie's empathy isn't remarkably high. Um, it would only be a plus one having ah. that stuff. So, okay. Yeah. Probably not. Or just curious. Her deceit is higher than her empathy. <clears throat> All right, well, um, that's unpleasant. Well, that's a little better. I think that's, yeah. 
All right, so John Doe makes a telephone call, and is that what we see you waiting, waiting in the uh, No, she'll be coming to this okay. hotel room in a bit. He speaks on the phone in French for a few moments, and hangs up and then says, yes, that we, we need to wait here for a bit. Um, and she'll be here soon. Okay, cool. So why is Baba Yaga so mad at us, not you? Uh, I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get killed, she's not going to take your soul, is she? Make an empathy roll. Good. No, that's not good. I <laughs> know. <laughs> you need yoker, okay? I understand. I mean, it's pretty good for me. Was that your empathy role? Yes. <laughs> well, Which we did drop down to mediocre, as he has no idea beyond some, beyond getting a sense that there's something here that he doesn't want to talk about. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I Rick doesn't care. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. What you not Rick is not concerned. Okay, I'm, I'm spending the fame points. So I'm going to go to Superb. Um, Okay, I guess so I'm you're trying to, to suss out when, okay, he asked about why is Baba Yaga mad at you guys but not me. And then I asked. Then you asked. Is she gonna, if you get killed, is she going to steal your soul? Mm -hmm. All right. So you got legendary. Mm -hmm. I get legendary. Uh, there is... You, you, you understand... Oh, you got legendary now? No, I, no, I, can't, I, can't, I cannot. You can't get legendary. No. All, all you needed was fantastic. That was the... <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't need a legendary. A little harder than... <laughs> well... Okay, if I roll plus four, I use a free point. See, well, but you're up against John Doe's deceit. That's... Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Right. <laughs> See, I put my energy in the resolve. I right? understand. <laughs> but Simon is wearing yeah. the ring. a bunch of magic right <laughs> now. He's the, the Mandarin. So, <laughs> he doesn't have that many rings on at the moment. Or, or finger That would be ten rings, right? Yes. Eleven, actually. Eleven? Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Oh. A headband. Uh -huh. Oh, that. Oh, all right. They, <laughs> that counts they, as a ring. Well, okay. it, it's the... It's the part of the system that he wasn't aware of initially. You have to read Iron Man 57 and 58. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, subscribed to the thing that allows you to read online, so I can't. Anyway, so apparently John Doe has a secret that specifically is related to... The contract that Baba Yaga makes with these people. Okay. Make an academics role. Uh, that would be a great academics role. Great? That's mm -hmm. it? Well, uh, you can't do I... always roll great. Well, actually, sure, why not? You I... really want to know? Um, yeah, I really want to know. So, you have seen John Doe naked and undisguised at one point. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything about that? Yes. Mm -hmm. He had several scars on his body. Right. Yes. I remember that. Um... And if you spend a few moments of time beyond the four seconds that it, just thinking about it would, would take, in mm -hmm. other words, if you spend about 15 seconds, right. you would think, you know, those 
scar patterns are very familiar to me. Those scar patterns look an awful lot like the beginnings of Death of a Thousand Cuts. Yes. Well, okay. very specific cuts of the Death, Death of a Thousand, thousand cuts. cuts. It's yeah. not just the beginning ones. But. Right. Okay. You're looking very thoughtful over there. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> What's going on? Like I said, I but I so made... you saw him before you had seen anybody else with that scar pattern. That was why it was so hard. You hadn't been thinking. I mean, when you saw him, you just saw, oh, he's got scars all over his body, like he's been interrogated several times. Right. Very interesting. And I'm sorry for dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the solution is kill Wally <laughs> That solution would have several problems with it. Well, one is no confidence of the team, that's for sure. <clears throat> but his secret seems to be that he's not concerned. Right. Okay. He is not concerned about this contract. Whereas you would think anybody who is still bound by this contract would definitely be concerned about their soul being torn from their body as they're dying and dragged down to hell. Not so bad once you get used to it. Uh, no, it really would be. <laughs> to me it implies that he may have been under contract at some point. Might have found a loophole or something. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. That there was this comment, and I'm trying to figure out. Um, yes, there was. And and I'm trying to fi and, and now I'm trying to decide which of two people um, it actually applied to. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And I gave you a way to answer the question, but you didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, that was a moment of silence. That yes. <laughs> like 15 seconds. <laughs> it was 15 seconds of Simon just thoughtfully looking at John Doe while John Doe was not saying anything. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, guess moving on. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Did we get any Russian clothing? Oh, yeah. Get some there. <laughs> you do? Clean out the store? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Where did you get that? And he actually comes over and picks up a specific dress. I told him the name of the store. This was worn by one of the daughters of the Imperial family at one point. Oh, that's okay. interesting. One so, of the Romanovs wore this. <laughs> so, so, so maybe the um. Oh no, God! It's not Antonia. Anastasia. Anastasia. Anastasia? Mm -hmm. So maybe there is something to the Anastasia rumors. <laughs> okay. Well, don't wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you probably no, wouldn't. I wouldn't. Annie should not wear that dress. <laughs> Does it have a lot of pockets? No. No. It has no it pockets has at all. It has no pockets. <laughs> well, I think Annie's planning on staying on the see for this mm -hmm. game. The reason women started using purses is because they gave them balls that didn't have pockets anymore. Mm -hmm. That's why they had purses. Anyway. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Um... I should probably go through these clothes and just make sure that nothing else is that recognizable. Yeah, probably. That would be a good idea. <laughs> okay. Because some of them were, were quite good. This was one of the pieces that was, of, of several that were quite good. Okay, yeah. And so he'll start going through. Let's see, this long eye is terrible. This bound the is great. <laughs> Yeah, he does a pretty good job of sorting out. There's maybe 
eight different garments that are too recognizable. That are that are very fancy and recognizably fancy and yes. The rest of it seems to be from like servants or you know people like that, but and people that nobody would go, oh, that's from that guy. Mm -hmm. But there are like eight different things in there. You hit the jackpot. Yeah, I'll bring them to cloud nine and you can uh, display them in New York. Okay, I was going to say yes. Put, put them on cloud nine and I'll give them to some. <coughs> I'll give them to some lucky museum in New York. There's certainly one that's <coughs> interesting. Yeah. Is it Roman <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, the question is, how long can you stay committed to being Lenin? I'm on a mission right now. I can... Be on my mission as long as I say I can be on my mission. Ah, I like that answer. Um, okay, because we got two ways of doing this. We can either stay here in Zurich and try to lure them here, or we can like have you get completely cured and then head back to Russia and then have them strike us on the way. Okay, I'm not sure um, which one's better. Yeah, I mean there there I, there obviously is a maximum time limit if I'm if I'm. I would not want to do this for a month. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that a couple of weeks is fine. I no no the, the, okay. A if month? We can he's, come... not, he's not going to be engaged anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you you told Cornelia you would be gone indefinitely, right? Um, Scott has forgotten what he told Cornelia. What did he write down? Scott forgot. I see. Forgot what he told Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I told Cornelia. I, I remember the discussion with Paris being rather chilly. <laughs> I did tell Cornelia, but I didn't tell her exactly how long. I said we were going out to April. Uh, well, no, actually, I told her that we were going to take care of this guy that um, Jack is unhappy with. Yes. Him. Yes, Jack is unhappy with him because he murdered his grandfather, which is not the only reason Jack is unhappy with well, him, mm -hmm. but it he makes murdered my nice. grandfather to stick it to me. <laughs> yeah. But he, he also tried to kill the president, he killed the Pope, and he is one of the two people responsible for the deaths of 60 million people, so... Yeah, not to more. mention the fact he tried to kill him, don't, don't know how much, what percentage of the population of New York City. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it would have been a high percentage. It would have been a high percentage, yes. <laughs> um, the, the, the problem with your second theory mm -hmm. is that it requires us to have a really good idea of where Eel is and um, what his plans might be. You know, It takes timing to have him be striking us between here and the Russian border. Yeah, I, I think we're better off seeing I agree. But I have to suggest it so we can reject it. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right. So, Annie will get back. We'll get on Cloud Nine. We'll head to Minsk. Tomorrow, we get on a train as Russian. Russians we'll ride the train to Zurich. Zurich. And we, yeah. Contact who should be here any minute now will um, change for Annie, and then we'll. Okay. So at a separate point during the day, when I have a few minutes, I will make the call to Cloud Nine to get ready to go to Minsk overnight. Okay. Shoveling in the coal. So, it doesn't Does not coal. run on coal. <laughs> I don't have my zero point energy source yet. But <laughs> You're working on it. I am working on it, yes. Alright. That was one of the bloopers from Star Trek. You see a guy in the engine room shoveling coal. <laughs> The brilliant spheres was my favorite. That isn't exactly Star Trek. Yeah.
So, um, yeah, so a few minutes go by, and there's a knock at the door, and there's a woman there. Okay, I answer the door. Open the door. Say it in French. Hello? Hello. In French. Please come in. Pay attention. You're not ill, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm perfectly well. <laughs> Good. Presumably she was selling <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can actually relate to that bit of paranoia, the idea of uh, the idea of him already being here and trying to substitute himself for John John Doe's oh. contact. I yeah, wasn't right. actually talking about your health. That, that this wouldn't be your name, would it? No. Or well, how your uh, nickname or how you're known? Non diploma. Okay, see, because it could have been the other way. It could have been ill, and he would actually say, "I'm perfectly healthy." I feel great. I hear these suckers invited me in. I get it. What was yeah. his name? Hmm. What was his name? Which name? The Indian guy. Oh. oh, the mighty Jafar? <laughs> yes, the mighty Jafar. <laughs> yeah, so I'm... So I, I need to talk to her alone for just a moment. <laughs> um, Take one of the bedrooms. I'll go into the one that's probably silence, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so where did you store the five-gallon cask? That's up on Cloud 9. It's on Cloud 9. Right. Okay, so... They get behind a door and whisper to each other for a few seconds. Um, and then they come out and, uh, yes, so uh, I've, been, uh, I've been informed as to what you need. Uh, I need to pose as a nurse. Uh, you can speak Roger. Jean, yes, Jean will uh, do, be doing my disguise. Good at it, but he's super bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, well, he's a master spy, so yes. <laughs> no, I'm a master in several things, but spying isn't one of them. Hello. <clears throat> Vas is los. Oh, that's what's wrong. I need more attention. Uh, and we are leaving tonight. Well, that's the plan. And we should be back here in three days, two days. I wasn't really certain as to however long it takes. Well, it'll take us all night to get to Minsk. We get on a train tomorrow morning. And then however long it takes the train to go from Minsk to Zurich. Um, and once you get to Zurich... Zurich should be seven hours. So it'll be the same day. And then when we get to Zurich, you get out of your disguise and walk away and hopefully you and then you're out of the picture, which is good. Okay. So yes. And I'm then back to my, my normal duties. Mm -hmm. Slightly over a day. Okay. Yes. Possibly slightly That's under. What I'm here, huh? Likely slightly. Mm -hmm. Well, I skipped, huh? All right. Um, mm, well, it depends on how much time we kill talking and uh, talking at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. probably about three thirty in the afternoon right now. So right around. Um, yes, my cats are going to be really mystified by this. What is the smell on you? They will say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cat. More it's like, who is the smell on yes. 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 And they will say it with dirty looks. Alright, so, um, John Doe takes this young woman. Wait, actually, he's not going to do that until he sees Annie. That's right. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Because he wants to disguise her as the disguise that Annie is wearing. Yep. Yes. But, uh, yes. so how long is it, I mean, are you going to go until supper time? Yeah, basically. And then come back to the hotel. Yeah. All right. Um, yes, 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 yes. 
basically close the business. Mm -hmm. Normal close an end of normal business hours. Go uh, go to the hotel room I had uh, assigned, and then once that is done, um, go up to his room. Okay. Might well be on the well, same floor. His suite. His suite. Suite. Yeah, I, I would years. not have gone for a suite because the advanced party generally doesn't live it up like that much. Um. So I, I arrive around dinner time, I suppose. All right. Open the door. Hello, Annie. Hello. Come in. Come in. I enter. Oh. Hello. Hello. So John Doe says, hello, whoever you are. <laughs> and I give the name I have been using, which Brett does not know Russian names. Uh-huh. But some... Well, you only, you I thought Annie was supposed to come back here, he says. <laughs> well, I only know one female Russian woman, it's Natasha. So. Is Boris the only Russian male name you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's one of the few. Okay. Let's see. Catherine, Anastasia, Zanidia, Natasha. Mal Anastasia. Malinish. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually the the name. Zanadia. Is that how it's pronounced? Z i n a i d a. You're asking me. Z i n a i d a. Zanadia. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, Zanadia. Zanadia. Yes, yeah, Zanadia. What a mouthful that one is. Okay. Sure, but it's. Oh, that's just her nickname. One of the problems with reading Russian novels is keeping track of um, all nurse? of the variations of what this character's name is. Because mm -hmm. there's four or five standard variations in any Russian knows, oh yeah, that's him. That's him, that's him, that's him, that's him too. And that's somebody else. And But that's somebody else. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like Robert being Bob, or William being Will, or Willie, or Bill. Bill. <laughs> no, but <laughs> there's also they start... patronomics and matronomics, which we don't have. And, and then they mix them up in bizarre ways. Mm-hmm. Like one of the standard nicknames for Alex Alexander is Sasha. Yes. That's weird. But hey, Margaret is equally strange. Yes. Uh, Meg. Meg is the one that makes Meg. sense, but but Peg or Peggy, there's little logical explanation for. So you you you're pretty sure that he's actually having. Fun, fun with you. <laughs> Ho hopefully, this is sufficient for the task I chose. Yes, uh, yes. Maybe. And I will quickly fill them in on what I was doing today. Okay. Um, good. So, if our quarry decides to check a little bit deeper, one of right. the logical places to check would be that. Sure, sure, absolutely. So, Laying the groundwork. Very yes. good. So, if I'm on the train, how did I lay the groundwork? Hmm? Jack contacted me about going to Minsk and taking a train back. Um, and, hmm. and so, if I laid the groundwork, well, I, I mean, I, I don't mind. I'll do whatever. You think is workable, but simplify it. It's not. It's not this nurse having done this and being on the train. Yes, you're going we to have a second nurse right. who hands off 
So. Okay, so yes, we won't disguise her as you now. We'll disguise you as her then. Okay. Sounds like you did a Bilbo Baggins there, but... No. No. <laughs> no, I if, follow it. If you can that keep it be, straight... I will keep it straight. Okay. So, The advanced five. woman goes away. Oh. Yeah, because she's the advanced woman. We don't okay. need her anymore. Yeah. Okay. But the woman on the... Tr the nurse on the train will be mm -hmm. here as well. Yeah. And... In the person event. <sighs> oh, look at the person that is going to be the, uh, the other nurse... Compare our sizes. Oh, that should work pretty well. I can make the adjustments. So, anyways, yes, we, we can have, have the whole party or as much of it as needs to transport and convince. Okay. I've made arrangements. So, um, are we going to... Uh, Simon, you can have, you have some sort of way of like sensing when he's nearby or something like that? Is that I need to work. He's he he, he has spoofed it. Yeah. What? He spoofed it. He spoofed it. He, Sorry, a nap. He, he subverted Simon's uh, tracking method so that Simon was tracking something else. Oh. Yes, I'm basically not clear on the details. A, a barrel of uh, surprise. I thought I thought maybe you had some way to like notice when he's close, but apparently not. Like, didn't we have a ring of burns or something when he gets close? Or, uh, that, was that was for, that was for Father agents of Father Russia. Yeah. Oh, okay. There are no more agents of Father Russia because he's dead. Right. Well, yeah, good reason. Right. Yeah, no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well. Yeah, I will. Uh, Probably want to spend some time tomorrow. Well, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Taking a look at that and figuring out how I can find ill and not find it. Okay. I would be interested in observing at the very I least don't want to of anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Don't worry about it. it. Besides which, mostly it'll be. Boring. It'll be Simon sitting next to the container. It's in melody. The world doesn't work like that. <laughs> there are deterministic it, it, things. Yes, that there is true. There are deterministic things However, and there are indeterministic things, but never mind the details. Well, yes. Fine. Okay. So, I okay. thought we would have that as something that we could use. I thought you had, like, listen to voices or something like that. But, but I guess that's not going to work, because he's been able to spoof it somehow. Which... Is disturbing. Well, I mean, he does he does know stuff about stuff like that, I guess. Yeah. He apparently does. When we first crossed paths with him, he was looking for gems that had curses on them incorporated to some sort of infernal machine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly what Annie says. Well, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Um. So... When you're ready, we can go. Okay. Oh, is Cloud Knight here already? We can yes. go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go then. Um, I'm, I'll do the disguising. I, we have several hours on the on oh, yeah. Cloud Nine. Yes. I'll, I'll use Good that one. time to disguise my friend here. So. So, so do do I return here so that I can meet the party when you come in on the train? No, you're gonna no to go to you want to be at the train station. Mm -hmm. um, we will... When we're about three miles out, we'll let you know. Okay. And then... It, I mean, we'll be back... Let's see how... <clears throat> eight hours there. Why don't you just send a telegram with your expected arrival All right. to the we'll room do that. here? Sure. To... Uh, Zanadia, 
And, uh... Okay. So I guess I should stealth us all, hush us all up to the Cloud Nine? Sure. Yes. I, I look at John sometimes. By the way, you'll see some things that I'd appreciate you never talk about. I'm very discreet, she says. You are an acquaintance of his, I expect. Oh, uh, I like plus one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too worried about being spotted. All right. We go up to the roof. And there's a freight elevator lifting yeah. up to <laughs> Yeah, the we, get, we get on the freight elevator, and it picks us all up and goes up to a thing we can't see. Yeah, not from the outside. Can't see very well. Yes. Not invisible. And I lead him to the guest rooms. Okay. Dinner will be had, whatever. <laughs> probably, probably better than we just got at the hotel, even though it's a nice hotel. So. And then you come back down. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> you're staying here for. So I will hush you back down and then go up again. Uh, not Actually, necessary, and yeah. uh, okay. you're really not cleared for all of Cloud Night. Well, gee, that hurts. I want you to know my, my workshop. Yeah, you use that, John. I'm not, I'm not clear for your mirror's wads. I'm, 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 I'm feeling the pain here. I'm wounded. Mm -hmm. You'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly a sense of trust. I trust that you will not. <laughs> problems of war. <laughs> go in your hips that I would rather you not go into. Yes, this is a mean support beam. Let's find out. You remember all of her methods for taking care of security problems, don't you? It involved allowing gravity to solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I always get around that. That's good. <laughs> so, yeah, just I introduce him to uh, Chaudhry, he'll take care of the logistics. He's got independent. And then let the crew take him to Minsk. Oh, okay. the, before, before we leave, uh, I. Simon for Simon and and JD and any uh, any advice on getting a, a private car as quietly as possible in a uh, oh. in, in a city that most of us won't be familiar Simon, with. Simon, do you have roofles? Otherwise, I can check if I do. Yes, um, because we, we want to be really unobtrusive about that because in theory we've been coming from further away, so we don't want to leave tracks in the units. <laughs> I have the resources that's good, but I imagine that only a small portion of that would be Rupal's, so... <laughs> I don't need a prince's fortune in Rufus. No, yeah, but you probably need more than very, more than great. Oh, you're just renting a car. It shouldn't be that bad, too. I am you're renting a private car. Yeah, renting so. a private car and arranging... Oh, oh. on the train. On the, yes. For the train, yes. yes. No, no. The okay. ambulance to transport you to the medical facilities and the price for the medical okay. facilities. So, oh, a, buying a small house is a resource of great. But no, I, I, thought, the, I thought you were asking about them having... I, I was, was asking, asking... He was asking about private car. I, I was... That's what I'm talking about. Asking was, for money to pay for the services that the 
the advanced person has to arrange. That I got. Set. That, the, but that's but, in that's in, that's in Swiss marks or whatever they're prongs. Prongs. Well, I guess the advanced person probably would have prongs. Yes. Yes. So we well, said it done to give you a pesos or something or that. Weird luck. Weird luck would be an appropriate thing. I don't have to buy the train car. I don't have to do the other things. Yes. I just have to do the payments for the advanced setup. Yep. I have weird luck. You have. You 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 now have fantastic rubles. And I tell you, um, yeah, I tried this, this, and this for. For getting the private train car. Hmm. Well, to convince someone to give us a private train car, you have to use rapport. Mm -hmm. Edgy's rapport is, ter is, is, is crap, okay? So we want to have someone other than him do this. You either want to have Simon do it, you want to have Jack do it. Jack's is at fair, and I think yours is higher. Yeah, I'm staying in Switzerland. Then Jack's doing it. Yeah. Actually, what you're doing is you're going to uh, arrange to now find a very nice car sometime uh, somewhere outside of town and drive Lennon into town up to the train station. And Lennon is going to arrange for a private car. Well, you would actually be. <laughs> He yes. wouldn't be doing it personally no. if he's sick. No, would he? No. I would be some no. member of his staff. Whatever. It'd be, it'd be but his bodyguard, and I need one of us. No. Since my rapport is a lot better than yours. Graham. But the thing is, you need it for Lennon. True. So, Simon is also staying in Zurich. Yes. yes. Okay. Then it's no problem. Simon can pay for the facilities that I find. Mm -hmm. Yes, as soon as I, you know, as soon as I knew uh, Simon was intending to stay, I figured that was covered. And but covering the train car is a good idea. Yeah, and and I wasn't thinking, you know, certain certainly Jack has has higher rapport than I do. I was. Wondering if Simon had any specific tips or simply remembering them would help. Should we have a little bear on this? He is, he is, he is great with the work yeah. and his stunts. Yes, I used it's only money and weird luck to end up with. Fantastic rubles. <laughs> Fantastic rubles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't that an oxymoron? Which I handed over to be used for arranging for paying for trains. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. they think that might cost money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understand it. It should be no problem for my uh, ma my uh, major domo to basically handle things on cloud nine for yeah. air traffic. I mean, He's got independent. He right? has independent. Yeah, so that's not a problem. Okay. The rest of the staff don't, but they would have no reason to ever leave it. Just 
looking for a pencil. I figure I should probably write down the name so that next session I am using the same name. That yeah, makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah. Yes. Smell it. Yes. Yes. No, that's not something that's on the allowed list, actually. All right. You don't get to plot that space. So the weather is fine, the flight is uneventful. Okay. It's about six o'clock in the morning when we get to Minsk. Okay. So that means it like earlier than that we're gonna have to call Annie, tell her to get a no, no, well, no, 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 I'm off, no. I'm off, I'm off. You're, yeah. you're in the wrong, wrong city. Wrong city. <laughs> <laughs> and using the wrong communications method. Once you know the train <laughs> schedule, Our you can send a telegram. I think Steve's more tired than he thinks. Uh, yes. So we um, get to the train station in Minsk. There is a train leaving that will get us to Zurich. Uh, it will leave at 9 a.m. and will take seven hours. So I think there is a time zone change in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Jack is going to go searching for a very fancy car that he can borrow. In Minsk? Yeah. Okie dokie. Ah. And by borrow, you mean temporarily steal. I said borrow. Right, but as Are soon as Are you going to borrow, ask them ahead of time? Or why would I waste time borrow? doing that? Huh? And okay. as soon as you borrow it, it will in effect disappear. So, and not what be connected with again? I can never remember. Hemorrhagic. Yes. I'm not sure exactly how to spell it, although it would start H-E-M-O-R. Beyond that, I'm less sure. What, what are you great, telling great okay. by contacting us? Go and find a go and find a very nice car. Yes, I believe I it's H E M O R R A. That would hold one plausible two three one two three four five people. So not a gold book. No. I think five is correct. Yes. Yes, there's no Simon. And it's no Annie, but we do have a nurse. Yes. Yes, the, the, four, the four of us and the person who is temporarily the nurse. So we have to get disguised too, because Ill knows what we look like. Even though we're disguised right now, we look like, well, some of us are disguised, we look like Swiss citizens. Yes. Okay. We need to be differently disguised. So. Um, so the. The woman who John Doe is bringing with us is now disguised. Okay. Uh, John Doe is disguised as Lennon with a very bad case of hemorrhagic fever. He looks extremely unhealthy. Um, so we also have to switch into those Russian clothes that we stole. Uh, borrowed, right? We actually bought those. You bought yeah. those. You didn't yeah. steal them. I there was those. no theft involved. Mm -hmm. No borrowing, no theft. You actually... Oh, I should probably... Plug in the power source. Plug in the power source. Um, oh. There's this. Where is the cord? It's right here. More power! Minsk is technically in Russia proper, right? Um... Actually, Minsk is in 
Belarus? Yes. No, Minsk is in the Ukraine. Well, either way, either way, either way, it's on the other side of that. Well, it's Moscow Standard Time. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, GMT plus three. Uh -huh. As long as we're not going into Russia proper, we're probably I can show fine. You Minsk mm -hmm. is right there. Yeah, Belarus. Yeah, and it's it's um. Yes, you're not going. You're not going into Russia. <laughs> no. Um. It's as far off. It's worse in terms of local noon than um. Okay, so it's running on Moscow Standard Time. Yes. Um, you cross the border, and you're running on Central European Time. Mm -hmm. There's a two-hour time difference between those two. Okay. <laughs> so leaving at 9 a.m. is leaving at 7 a.m. in Zurich. All right. So 14, so we would get into Zurich at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. 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 So we will send a telegram saying that. But yes, um, the, 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 Who's talking down there? Um, <laughs> I think that's fair. I think that's already. Right. So. Yes, that's that's Moscow oh. standard. No, Moscow standard time goes from there to there. Well, that's weird. <laughs> ah! oh. They don't care. I There's know. not enough daylight, anyways. <laughs> well, it could be worse. You could be you 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 could be operating on. Uh, you could be in China operating on Peking time. Uh, do they do um, Peking for the whole time for the whole country? Yeah. From there to there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in India, though, our colleagues there, there are ten and a half hours. Yeah. Yep. How do you have half an hour? Time. You can't is... afford a zone or something. You only get half an no, hour. No, they 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 picked. The reason India is on a half an hour. Is because they picked noon to be they 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 picked right there to be noon, and that ended up being a half an hour off from GMT. <laughs> there were lots of strange compromises when the time zones for the whole world were being worked out. Yes. Okay, so we send uh, we send the. I mean, our characters know all about the time zones. Right. Mm -hmm. At least at least John Doe does, and Annie Andy does. does. Uh, maybe the other characters would have to make an academics role or something like that. But but John Doe and Annie. Nope. <laughs> both know how the time zones work. Uh, it would be a whopping average. Not that difficult. <laughs> yes. Maybe two. So yes. And anybody else who has, what is it, Walk the Walk? Is that the one that allows you to... Yes. 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 So anybody else who has Walk the Walk would know all, how all the time zones work. Including the weird ones that are, you know, half hour off. Right. Or, uh, or just... You know, Indiana. Yeah, I should probably pick that one up at some point. The one I actually picked up was international. Okay. Um, it's the equivalent. It's in. It's kind of the equivalent of walk and walk for rapport. Oh, okay. The character's mastery of etiquette leaves him comfortable and even live in any situation. Never suffers any penalties or increased. Yeah, fuck all. Yeah. Unfamiliarity. Yes, with his setting, making it easy to maneuver through local customs he hasn't encountered before, and to cover up any gas that will laugh and a sparkle in his eye. So, am I supposed to be disguising other people right now? Yes. Da. Da. Okay. Six a.m. The train leaves in three hours. We got here at six a.m. I said. Right. Well, leaves at nine. Right. Leaves at nine. Effectively seven. U.S. Yeah. time zones in nineteen thirteen. Uh, 
Oh, that's a little different. <laughs> Just a little. Uh, yeah. The Pacific yeah. time zone swings all the way over to the Rio Grande. Yeah, while uh, actually not going quite as far east as it does now at some points north of that. Mm -hmm. Rocky Mountain time zone has actually shrunk from that. Oh, yeah. That partition. So is Central. <laughs> Eastern doesn't go down into Florida. Yeah. Are oh, they on Central? Mm -hmm. They're on Central on that map, yes. How strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a wedge of, of Georgia that's in Eastern. <laughs> but the rest of it's in Central. <laughs> Still not as bad as what Indiana used to be. Time is owned by county. Are you really saving his time or not? By county. We should fix that finally. Okay, so I start with Simon. No. No? Simon's not there. Oh, you're not, not there. Mm -hmm. Start with, start with yeah. either Rick right. or Jack. Doctor Rick? or have yes. security guy. Uh, you have an awe inspiring disguise. As a doctor. As a Russian doctor. As a Russian doctor. The important thing is I don't look like me. Right. Um, uh, am I disguising Jack? You do a better job of it than I will. All right. Uh, I actually, so the I'm taking 30 minutes for each person. Uh, you have a godlike disguise as whatever it is. That, I mean, just a, a Russian security person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, it would be the equivalent of our secret service. Right. You know, they're to protect the an important political figure. Yes. Well, security people tend to be very, very closed quiet. mouth. Mm -hmm. So just don't say anything. Wonder if I were trying to trying to uh, uh, fake my uh, French having a Russian accent, would that be a deceitful? Yes. Would, could I get away with deceit modified by academics if I've been listening to other people talk and? If you'd have, if you'd studied it, if you, yeah. yeah, then yes, but you really have no, studied. No, I, I can't pull that off. I have to stick to the drum call the motion. All right, so that's everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's about the only one you don't have to uh, disguise is uh, his dead guy. Thirty, ninety, no, thirty, sixty, ninety, but uh, 
John Doe did his own and the young woman's the previous, yeah, the previous afternoon, evening. Oh, did you do them on the way then? No, I did it in the morning in once the we morning got there. Before and then you're just train. barely finishing those up and it's time to get on the train. We got there at 6 a.m. I took an hour and a half. Oh, okay. I I heard you uh, when, when you said 306090. Yes. He oh, was no. adding them rather than I was than adding them rather than No, 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 no. That was the total. <laughs> <laughs> that was the total. Three minutes apiece. So you need a, so you have an hour and a half to wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After I'm done doing disguises. Yes. <laughs> Someone at the door? Someone walking in the front yard? Or she might have heard something outside. Yeah, okay. Western Australia, UTC plus 8 hours and 45 minutes. Oh, ah. great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't mention the UTC to me, okay? okay? Programmers love time zones. I detecting a note of sarcasm. Well, I, I mean, there's stuff like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes off. There is Arizona that refuses to acknowledge date like savings time. Mm -hmm. Smart, mm -hmm. smart state. Yeah, Hawaii. I can't. I really blame there, there are other anomalies that the code had to deal with, and I think mm -hmm. it was somewhere in the 2000s before the system worked. <laughs> you said Indiana chose by... County. 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 It was a local option on whether or not you did daylight savings. It was not. wise. Now it isn't. It's, yeah. It's, it, they made it. They made it state. And that's. Um. That is one of the proofs. That. Um. Whatever else it may do, it doesn't save energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they were able to do. Right. Count, they they were able to compare similar counties. In Indiana, mm -hmm. that were and were not on daylight savings time. <laughs> yes. So, yes, an hour and a half after John Doe is done with disguises, Jack's going to buy with a borrowed vehicle. Okay, what are we using this borrowed vehicle for? We're going right. to, we're to drive station. up to the train station okay. and then disembark okay. and get on the train. All right. Fine, we do that. Um, did somebody buy the tickets for the train yet? Nope, not yet. Does anybody have any money on them? I do. Yes. Well, maybe. Edgy does. Edgy well, does. I got, I, okay. okay. Simon, had to Simon, Simon gave it to me, I'll hand it to Jack. Yeah, All right. Scott, if I may, if I may suggest, instead of trying for a train car, let's go with a first class compartment. Sure. They'll have those on the train. Yes. Okay. Now that would be sufficient. You were quite right. And come to come to think of it, um, first class train. Otherwise, they have to. Yes. First class compartment. Train. Okay. First class compartment. Okay. Otherwise, they're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. Cars yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I can do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would sort of... Not yeah, like that. It would, no. it it would kind of break a cover a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it would look strange. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, so. and it would explain entirely too many things that have happened in, straight, in, in yeah. various places around the world. So, so for the ticket guy, Yes. I would like a first class compartment. Compartment. Or... Please. For, um, for Zurich. For Zurich, yes. For one nine five five, 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 uh, pulled out a little so both Rick and I oh, have enough pocket, pocket money to, no, to look plausible in the rules. We're big soldiers. Um, now normally they would take would they take your name? Did you find a ticket? See, I don't know. No. Nope. Okay. It's not at this time. No. I just do the ticket. Yeah. Okay. Whoever has the ticket has the ticket. 
There you go. Then, yes, the train is on, on you know, track four. I'll give him a bribe, too. I'll say, you weren't here. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. 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 <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> you weren't here. Mm -hmm. You know, it might actually add their similitude to be boarding, boarding the train just outside the Russian border. It does. <laughs> okay, um, we get on the train. Mm -hmm. um, Have a seven-hour ride. We sit on the train for seven hours. It stops a few times. Mm -hmm. There are border crossings. Okay, if we're playing cards, I'm not gambling with Rick. <laughs> Um, okay, if you say so. Um. Meanwhile in Zurich, we're, we got our telegram and we start yes. making the arrangements for the reception at the train station. Okie dokie. Go to the medical facility and say, yes, we have selected you. Can we arrange an ambulance from the train station? Absolutely. We, we expect their arrival at 2 p.m., patients arrival at 2 p.m. the 2 p.m. train. Certainly. When should we be here to ride with the ambulance? Oh, when are we dispatching the ambulance to the train? Yeah. 145. All right. And this is Switzerland. And the trains are going to be on time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I presume he paid his food. Yes, I'm along with the money bags. General, I'm sorry, pur general like purpose like expediter. Uh, uh, li liaison. Say that to him. Okay. They said it to him the previous day. Oh, okay. They this did thing. during the discussion with John Doe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. I. That well, John Doe didn't that. ask about it yes. specifically. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, I mean, we got a thing that that may or may not work. Okay. Well, tomorrow they're going to announce that our traveling companion. Yes, it's going to be, they're finally going to let everyone know that I'm dead. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, will that be before, is, is that, hmm. trying to, the, the, the news will be in, um, that'll be international news. Yeah. Right, but yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. trying, trying to figure out how. Will will the news get to to Zurich uh, uh, ahead of our party, or will we? Oh no, we're arriving in Zurich on the twenty third. Ah, so it'll be the day after we arrive. This official mm -hmm. announcement will be made. Yes. Just, just remember, and Russian press never lies. Just remember, right. Lenin's grave is a communist plot. Yes, yes. I believe I heard that one before. Why? <laughs> One of the things I will do sometime during the course of the day okay. is commit words on the wind. Alright. I was hoping to do that, but I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> the 
this is a wonderful place for the spirits. So. Mm. All right, which will give me awe inspiring. That's pretty decent. Yeah, but it's mysticism. <laughs> it has a higher bar. Instead of speech, I didn't say it was guaranteed. No. <clears throat> so, um, you have, I mean, you have a particular question in mind, or subject, or... Well, it, it gives me an omen about the general situation, um, and the general situation in my mind is ill. Well, ill appear. <laughs> yeah. Or how... Well, hope that maybe... Uh... Or how is he likely to respond when he... Well, you're no. doing it, so... It, yeah. It, it, no. it all depends if we can sell it to Ill that Lenin, the real Lenin is still alive. That's what it depends on. If he believes that, then he, he'll take action. It's, if he doesn't believe the way, it... The way I read it, um, mm -hmm. it's more in... I'm giving the GM a chance to say something to me. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it will be related to what it is that I'm currently thinking about. Um, right. that they do not mean up. Oh, yeah. They sure. mean you're going around Facebook on that. Mm. But I, after she managed to jump off on my lap, I, I did, I knew you could, you know, Mr. Rogers voice. Right. Just like that. Mm. I might have The cat sometimes suspects that they're being made fun of somehow. Well, they always think they're being made fun of. Yeah, unless they just pulled off a clever one at your expense. <laughs> what piece of Canadian bacon? It wasn't a piece of Canadian bacon on this place. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, you don't really hear anything. Okay. You raise for urn re urban renewal. Try again later. <laughs> so what? Wait, what did you roll again? On roll on on inspiring. inspiring. And on all inspiring, he gets nothing. He has, yeah, he yep. gets nothing. <laughs> Pretty high bar. So, well, I'm not there. One way of interpreting that is there is a way to interpret that, yes. <laughs> one, one way to interpret that is, um, Yell's not going to show up. Either he doesn't hear about it in time to feel worth it's worth it. Um, he actually knows better. Um, you know, for whatever reason, no way to evaluate what the reason is. He's not going to show up. That is a possibility. That is a very strong possibility because, mm -hmm. see, I don't know if we were, if we're going to be able to sell this or not, because that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. If, perchance, he was within direct observing distance when the real Lennon actually died, he would be harder to convince that he was wrong somehow. That's one possibility. 
Well, what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to start a rumor that our Russian doctor here has some kind of a miracle cure. And that saved him from the brink of death. Possibility. You see, that's what we got to convince him with. And that may, I mean, you got to get something that, that ill will believe uh -huh. is real. Something that, that, that ill. Yep, he, he, he won't be able to ignore it, but I have to check it. So, we on. It's almost like we should get discovered with one and, and then the press the Well, I mean, it's, it, it's just a, well, we don't know this yet, but when we find out, it's just spreading a rumor. Rem, you know, Lennon is actually alive and hiding in Zurich. That's the whole rumor. We don't need to add to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we don't need to, to expand on it. Expansion will happen. Yes, yeah. it's a rumor. <laughs> it, it will be embellished. You start with the simplest thing and send it out there. I get it. You take a little snowball, roll it down the hill. Yes. Absolutely. And you hope that it gets to your intended target, but you have no idea where your intended target is, and you can't wait forever. No. Um, so, I mean, if you spend, if you were to spend six months in Zurich spreading the rumor, well, you know, that's... A different thing. That's a different thing. That's, that's well, I mean... Okay, so if it fails, we're going to have to have our women die again. Or or just we just have it disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't need to care Pulling about Elvis. why or how yeah. it disappears. Pull an Elvis. Mm -hmm. No concern. Yep. So, all right. And have the poor Russian government been dealing with it for decades. My heart bleeds for them. I was thinking it couldn't happen to a nicer government. <laughs> More deserving. <laughs> well. Yeah. There were some sarcasm and things around that. All right. right. So, train ride. Uneventful. Mm -hmm. We get there. Arrival. It's 2 o'clock. We're there. We're You're there in your car. Your ambulance. Mm -hmm. Our yeah. nurse on board train takes your disguise off and leaves. Yes. And then I... Actually, two, two nurses go into the ladies' room and only one comes out. <laughs> Suspicious. Well, only one comes out for about 15 minutes. So, better off just have it come out of the compartment without her disguise on. People in the room. Yeah. So, um, that's 15 minutes. That's that. That. All right. That's kind of a fate point. You are godlike disguised as the nurse that was on the train. Whoa. Well, I had to spend a fate point. <laughs> and I also took 15 whole minutes. Well, help the patient through the. Vehicle. Mm -hmm. The doctor and I will help you there, and the others will make sure that no one intrudes. Yep. Lower at equal tendency. I assume you told Claude and I to come back here after Crowd them off. However, I said there's no hurry. Because, well, they go at the speed they go. It's yeah. not really a yeah. hurry or not hurry thing. Yeah. It's a, well, it's also a thing of if he drives all night, he wants time resting. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yes, we go to the sanitarium mm -hmm. and uh, get settled in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm dumb. 
And some of the nursing personnel see this person who looks just like Lennon. It, it looks like he's maybe trying to disguise himself a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, he's got a big cover and big yeah. coat and a muffler on. And yes, a lot of heavy winter clothing and a, with a hood and a hat. And, uh, or that could just be because they don't want him to get killed. That, yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, so... I would think that it would be both in character and a good idea for our own purposes to um, check out possible approach routes to, to the room he's in and things like that. All that security yeah. stuff. I yeah. Steve is halfway on the edge. No, yeah. This is okay. okay. Thank you. So I will I will do some investigating to that end. Yeah. Sight lines, places for a, a guard to unobtrusively be places someone could get in that would be harder to notice. I have a question. Is there yeah. such a thing as sleight of hand in your cell with the face down? There's a skill yeah, called, there's a skill called, called sleight of hand. hand. Oh, you have it or not? Skill. Mediocre? Yes, you yeah. have it at mediocre. Well, eh, good good luck making it. I have it at great. If I, I you fair. won't be administering medicine. Okay. Um probably probably better to prepare placebo is mm -hmm. ahead of time so that you can really yeah. administer mm -hmm. stuff. So um how many uh, how many investigation holes for checking out the building or as much of it is, is relevant as is relevant? Uh, just make four of them. Okay. Let's see. Um. Does Annie know if John Doe has Um. So, you've seen him perform things that would be sleight of hand? Mm-hmm. Okay. But here's the, here's the kick. What we need is the stuff that's going to be mixed with, with saline or distilled water. So, we're making the medicine. It can be sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soviet science. <laughs> <laughs> you can even draw some of this blood. In it. We could do that. And sort of inject things. it right back into them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about that? Eris may be interested too. She certainly twitched a little bit. Yep. What about that? So, epic, all inspiring, epic, legendary. The last one, too, the one. I you like me it. Um, so, this is kind of a big stone building. Uh, it would not stand up against, like, Jack. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the security is fair. Uh, the Exterior walls definitely have three boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so somebody, unless they've got something remarkable in the way of might or special devices, would have to come in a door or window that's already there. Yeah. So, okay. And yeah, nice. would generally come in the door. Yep, yep, yep. He would he Come would get door, walk right in like and no one would know no one would know that it was ill because he'd be the doctor who was supposed to be coming on duty that right at that, that, that point time. in time mm -hmm. who just you know was somewhere else for some reason or yep not alive anymore really Pri yes. Pri that's the easy right. solution <laughs> yes. yeah Pri but he's used to yes. he has yes. Primarily, I want to 
uh, I, I want to know this stuff to add verisimilitude, but secondarily, it does seem like it's practically useful to know the building. Right. Um, somebody so you would say that really what you need, all you need is uh, somebody on the door to the room, mm -hmm. it's a specific room that, that you're staying in, mm -hmm. and then somebody near uh, the bed, you know, security guy near the bed. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a two-man sure. security situation. Sure. Um, that just leaves the question of... Um, whether you want the what's your alertness? What's Jack's alertness? Um, you know, uh, hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, better, better than than average. Uh, so the question is, do you want the stealthier, more alert guy at the door or right by the bed? Bed. Okay. So I'm. I'm out in the hall, then. Which yields unnervingly yeah. like a chance, a, a chance for karma. Give a, give <laughs> well, a the thing is, it's, it's a two men. It's, it's two men, but you're not going to be on 24. You can't be on 24 I hours a day. We, uh, we haven't thought. Well, Jack can, but well, you we can, but we would people would off. think it's weird if you were. If they saw you on duty 24 hours a day, day after day after day, they would think that was strange. Um, and where do we get out? Yeah. But what it means is that... That guy never sleeps. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. So what we're going to have to do is that when I'm inside, unfortunately, I'm going to have to eventually sleep. And when you're inside, you're definitely going to sleep. Yeah, I mean, you. There's there's a chair near the bed, and mm -hmm. you yep. sit in that chair and you doze off. Mm -hmm. uh, and figure. So where is the nurse and doctor going to be during all this? They're going to only be in the room so many times. Yep. Well, she's a private nurse, so she could be in the room all the time. Or okay. most of the time. Yeah. Um, I don't know. He's. He's obviously my doctor, but mm -hmm. the sanitarium is also going to want their doctor. Their doctor. What's the point of being here if you're not using their medical staff at all? Right. We, we are using their medical staff. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can run and get saline solution for me. <laughs> well, okay. In, in consultation with you, mm -hmm. they. Uh, suggest remedies and stuff, and mm -hmm. we, we insist that no, only we administer. Okay. And then we use sleight of hand to switch it out. Or we just don't have anyone witness us administer. No, that's not a way to. That would certainly be easier because it, uh, we, neither of you have, have sleight of hand skill above mediocre. That mm -hmm. That's not one of the medical staff. No, he the is not. We have two. We, we have, have a stretched in. We, we have a stretched in two person security team. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Fine. So we're going to need placebos. Well, of course, the liaison's going to have to go to the embassy to pick up packages. A good point. Okay. Which he can certainly do. 
So, are you going to be the one who's spreading this rumor that we need to spread? Yes. All right. So you need to roll some contacting rolls and not throw your dice all over the place. Great. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why I have the box. <laughs> that wouldn't have helped yet. He didn't get them down yet. They went up in the air. <laughs> yes. I was picked them up and one of them went flying towards me. That would be epic. Okay. That would be legendary. That would be fantastic. <laughs> legendary isn't a good one? <laughs> well, it's not a good die roll. Okay. <laughs> um, and that one's epic. Okay. Average job to epic. That sounds like this. Average. All right. We'll, we'll certainly do a good job of spreading the rumor. I'm only worried about the possibility that Bill has additional information that will cause him to not believe it no matter how plausible. Or not just not hear about it. Well, that's uh, possible. Awesome. You know, if he's if he's currently in the if he's currently somewhere in darkest Africa. Mm -hmm. So we're in a sanitarium. We're waiting. We spread the rumor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Jack discussing inside the hospital room. Mm -hmm. We spread a rumor. Lennon is alive and, and hiding out in Zurich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if someone comes to investigate Zurich, there is a way for them to determine, yes, he sent one of them to the medical clinics. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing happens on the 23rd. Of the day, right? Yes, yes. So we need so. to be checking Good. out everyone that comes in the yeah, building. Right from here on. In the building? Or, in, no, that's true. That's in, in the room that Lennon is in. Well, yeah. And in fact, probably, well, you've got somebody outside the room. So anybody who comes on the floor okay, sure. if I can be if investigated by either Edgy or by Jack. Mm -hmm. We're lucky it's 1924. Yeah. No forced air HVAC. Yeah, uh, I was okay. thinking of the so, heat provided by a radiator. Yes. So no, no one's going to be putting a, a toxin into the air conditioning system. got no easy way to spread something through the whole building without coming with an There's insight. Of not saying he couldn't do it. I'm saying yeah. he doesn't have a It's harder in 1924 than it would be in the 2000s. Yes. Okay, it is 10.30. So, I am calling it for the night. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, we made progress. Yes. Uh, thank you to everybody who came in for the stream. If you enjoyed the stream and on Twitch and you're not yet following me on Twitch, please give me a follow if you enjoyed this stream after I've uploaded it to YouTube. Then uh, subscribe to my channel and click that like button. If you didn't like it on YouTube, Click the dislike button, but either way, please leave a comment letting me know what you did or did not like about it. My next stream will be tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time. I will be streaming Realm of the Old God. Did you expend fate points? No.